Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a lower third for video using Adobe Photoshop Elements. This is a great way to create a custom lower thirds for your videos or even to create a library of lower thirds which you can sell to others. I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is start Adobe Photoshop Elements and then click File and then New and then Blank File. And under the blank file, you're going to select a preset which is going to be the NTSC DV 720 by 480 and this is assuming you are using NTSC DV and then click OK and under background contents select transparent it's very important to select transparent and then click OK and this is the workspace area that you're going to work with first thing you want to do is to go up and grab the uh, marquee tool and draw, uh, draw your little rectangular box about where you want your lower third to be I want it to be right there once that's there, I'm going to use a gradient fill to give that lower third some color. Before I do that, I'm going to select some colors to put in the gradient fill. Let's just select this dark color right there. And here's I have a dark color and a light color. And then I'll select my gradient tool, which is right there, and just draw the gradient angle. So there's some of my lower third color right there. I probably want to do more than that. I mean, I can change uh, the different gradient directions and different gradient colors by different selections of colors and drawing the gradient to go a different way like that. But let's just put it back like this. Since this looks kind of plain, I want to add a little bit more texture to it. And, and to do that, I'm going to go up to Filter. and have many different filter options here, but I'm going to use Render and then select the lighting effects. And earlier I was working with five lights up, which is, uh, there's a number of lighting effects that you can select. And I selected the five lights up and I moved some lights around. And I'm just going to go with that and I'll show you what that looks like. So now we have this nice cool effect. Once we have that, what we can do is that we can go in and put our text on it. Now, if you're going to use this lower third many, many times, you might want to save it right now. But if you're just creating it for once, you might want to put your text on it. So you click your text tool. And then we're going to select the color that we're going to use for text. I like this yellow color right there. And then our text size, I've got it set for Arial Black Regular 48. We'll just type in some text here. Now, if the text is too large, you can just highlight the text and go in and change the text size to something that fits better. And then you can also move the text around. and you can change the size of the text. Again, I think I probably need to be a little bit larger than that. You can also move your lower third around. You can see that you can do that. So let's go in and change that text size again. I'll highlight the text, and I think I'll make it about 40 point. I like that. Now, some other things you may want to do to your text is while we've got it there, let's highlight the text. I think I'll put a drop shadow on that text. So let's put a drop shadow right there. It looks pretty good. Let's put a red underline under that. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the underline tool, which is if you select the box tool here, you'll see you have a number of selections and just select the line tool. And then make sure you have a, a color selected. And we've selected the red color, or I can select the red down here. And then hold down the shift key while you draw your underline. And then you have a nice lower third with the underline. Now there may be a couple other things you want uh, to do this. For example, you might want to change the opacity of the um, entire lower third. And the way you do that is you just adjust this down. And you notice it makes the background a little bit transparent. We can do that for each layer. And this kind of makes the lower third will appear to be semi-transparent when you put it on your video file. So anyway, once you do that, well, what you want to do next is click File, Save As, and save it as a PNG file because the format PNG will import into any video program, but more importantly, it'll save the transparency. In your video program, all you have to do to use this is just import this lower third and bring it onto the screen. Now, you may want to save this lower third file as a Photoshop file so that you can come back and use it again, or you can come back and change things like the, to raise the opacity back up to where it was. You might like that a little bit better. But that's the good thing about having layers is that you can come in and change the text and save it as a new file, and you can use the lower third over and over and over and over. Again, this is easy to do. I'm using Photoshop Elements. Easy to do, only takes a few minutes. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.